Hey what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel where tonight I'm going to be conducting a screen uniformity and dead pixel test on this 65 inch LG G5 OLED. Now this TV is going to be my new daily driver for at least the next 12 months and over that time I aim to do regular testing with the panel to see how well it holds up over time. Now tonight's video is going to be the first of those tests and it will be the baseline going forward and what I'm going to be doing is going to be testing out for any vertical banding, dead or stuck pixels and what the general screen uniformity is like. Okie dokie, let's crack on then. And first off, we're going to start with a grayscale test. And what can I see? Well, we do have a few vertical bands. Now, to be fair, they are very faint and the camera does emphasize what I am seeing. But we can see some there, a few others, a bit of a thicker one there as well. You can see that just there from pan around. So yeah, there are a few presents. Now I've watched many movies back on this already and TV shows. And to be honest, I can't say I've noticed anything whilst playing back material on the screen. And let's be honest, that is the main thing that does it interrupt with your viewing experience. And for me, no, these vertical bands aren't an issue. But like I say, they are very faint, but still it's worth noting what they're like at this point in time. So when it comes to future videos, we can see if there have been any changes. Moving on to some solid colors now then, where we're gonna check out for any patchiness and any dead or stuck pixels. Fingers crossed we don't, but if we do find any, hey, it will make for a great video title. So obviously we are starting off with white first, just moving around and yeah, that is looking pretty good to me. Now, what I'm seeing in person is different to what's coming through on camera. It's always hard to get it across. It does look a bit of a different white on camera. Always looks yellowy when I move around like that. But in person, it does look nice. So let's go in a little bit closer and see if we can spot any dead or stuck pixels. Again, maybe a little bit hard to see on camera, but I'll tell you if I do spot any. And like I said, I'm not going to lie about it because I've done videos in the past and when I found them, I've been quick to tell you guys because yeah, it makes for great viewing. But just moving around, looking through the camera and looking with my own eyes on the screen. So far, it is looking good. Just move up the left hand side there and to the middle. Can't see anything there, panning back. Yep, and that white gets a pass from me. Blue is up next, so let's move round. Once again, looking nice and clean there. That's what I do love about OLED TVs. They generally are very, very good, unlike your traditional LED TVs, where you can have issues with patchiness and stuff. So let's go in a little bit closer once again. Now, if you are wondering why I am changing up the colors like this, well, dead or stuck pixels can show up more easily on certain colors versus other ones. But this blue so far is looking all good. Going down the right hand side here. Ooh, come on, let's find some. I want to make a great title for this video, but no, it doesn't look like there is any to find. Going to the middle, that is looking all nice and clean. So when it comes to the blue, it's another thumbs up. Moving on to green now then, and that does look very nice indeed. It does look a bit more yellow on camera than it does in person, but yeah, looking all nice and tidy there. Once again, let's go in a bit closer, starting off top left hand side and moving across. Now I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. Have you ever run tests like this on your TV at home? And if you have, have you ever noticed any issues? Now I know a lot of people have contacted me in the past saying that they have got dead or stuck pixels. So have you ever experienced that yourself? And if you have, what have you done about it? Have you just left it or have you got back onto your retailer or manufacturer 
and had the TV either repaired or swapped out. So moving to the middle, around the edges was all fine. Moving back looks perfect to me. And finally, we're gonna finish off with red. So moving around to the side again, that looks really, really nice. Again, all clean looking, looks a bit darker again on camera than it does in person. Going closer once again, starting off top left, going along the top. So yeah, I have also experienced dead pixels in the past and uh, yeah, did have a big group of them and actually had the TV replaced. Now, uh, some manufacturers are really good and you get onto them and if you've got a few on the TV, they will uh, maybe replace the panel for you or your retailer, if the TV is very new, will replace the actual TV itself completely. But uh, I have heard of instances where people have had a few dead or stuck pixels and unfortunately um, their complaint has fallen on deaf ears and they've had to put up with them which I don't think is great, especially if it's a new TV. Anyway, back to the red here, looking at the center, edges were fine, panning back, and that is another pass. So that is the testing complete, and overall, well, I'm very pleased with this panel, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. If this was your G5, would it be a winner? or a binner, let me know. So that about wraps up this video, and if you have enjoyed it, do us a favor and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, including all those other tests that I'll be doing with this panel going forwards over the next 12 months, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. So thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Bye for now.